it's always great to see our former president and two-time nominee playing the extraordinarily constructive role he always tries to play by saying after Tom Emmer dropped out of the race today, I killed him. That was his quote. I killed him. Um, now, of course, he only had time to do that after he left his trial today, where he watched his former lawyer testify under oath that he regularly was instructed to lie by Donald Trump to increase fraudulently the value of his assets so he could make the Forbes 400 list. Because, of course, that's the most important thing in the world, is to be on the Forbes 400 list. Look, everybody, I had a reporter ask me today, like, when are voters going to start to understand some of this stuff? Um, it is long overdue, and I'm not giving up or giving in in explaining that I've known this guy for 22 years. He does not care about anyone other than himself. No one. He doesn't give a damn about this country. And his conduct every day proves he doesn't give a damn about this country. And when the House of Representatives can't elect a leader, instead of saying, you know what, this is what a real leader would do, I'm getting on my plane, I'm coming to Washington, I'm getting in a room with all 222 of you, and we're going to figure this out, and I'm not leaving until you pick someone. Instead, he's got to be up at his trial protecting his fake money. Instead, he calls reporters on background and says, I killed him. And talking about a guy who actually was trying to provide some leadership to the House of Representatives. And Tom Emmer, who's a guy I know, and is a really good person. Whether you agree or disagree with all of his votes or all his politics, you know, I say this all the time. The only person you agree with 100% of the time is you. And me too. I only agree with me 100% of the time. And, you know, we shouldn't be having that test. And it's embarrassing. 